Hi, I'm Jen. I'm a Levi's tailor in San Francisco, and right now I'm at my home in Berkeley. Since it is so important that we stay home right now, that means I'm not buying any new clothes, I'm not going out to buy crafting supplies to fix them up. So what I'm gonna show you today is how I take care of my own clothes with the things that I already have. The first thing I'll show you is how to hand darn a hole in a pair of jeans. I'll show you how to take a pair of jeans and turn them into jean shorts. And I'll show you how to hand sew a patch onto a hole in a trucker jacket. And I hope that this DIY tutorial will inspire you to celebrate Earth Day by taking care of the things that you have and love. Let's do it. First, I gather my supplies. I'll need a needle, some thread, the garment, scissors. So darning is a sewing technique for repairing holes or worn areas in a garment using only a needle and thread. I trim the threads around the damaged area as needed. I often like to leave some thread ends for aesthetic reasons. I think it looks cute. I'll cut a long length of thread, 12 or more inches, and thread both ends of that thread through the needle, leaving a long loop on one side. Then I start the stitch. I start from the back of the fabric, and I stitch up through the fabric. Don't pull it all the way through though, because you'll stitch back down and catch the loop of thread with your needle. You'll pull gently to tighten, and that has set your stitch. Here I will start vertically, winding up and down across the threads that are still there. I catch the fabric on one end of the hole to secure that length of stitching, then wind the stitch back in the opposite direction. Repeat this motion up and down until you've made vertical stitching all across the width of the damaged area. Make sure to hold the fabric tight and flat the whole time and make sure to anchor the ends of every row of stitching in undamaged area of the garment. Then I stitch rows across the columns of stitching. So I turn it 90 degrees and wind up and down along the lines of stitching I just made, going over and under the stitches. And then on my way back, doing the opposite. I catch the fabric on one end and wind the stitch back in the opposite direction. I repeat until I've made enough horizontal stitches all along the width of the damaged area. Then I'll finish off the stitch. I finish the stitch on the back side of the fabric. I can tie a knot, but if you don't want a knot in the area, you can wind the needle back and forth through several stitches. And that's how you darn your jeans by hand. First, I gather my supplies. I'll need chalk, sharp scissors, a needle, thread, a ruler, or some other straight edge. And you can also use a seam ripper and an iron to distress the ends if you'd like once it's cut. If you don't have chalk, a pencil or pen will work. You'll just have to make sure to cut off all of the marks that you make. First, I mark the cut that I want. On this pair of jeans, I know that I want it to be where the damaged area is. I'm just gonna cut from there. If you don't know where you want to cut, I would suggest trying the jeans on first and marking them on your body. Once I mark the cut on one leg, I cut it with sharp scissors. I then fold the jeans in half and I mark on the other side. And then I double check my markings by measuring with the ruler. Once I know that my markings are accurate, I mark the second leg and I cut that as well. Then I turn the jeans inside out and tack the out seams with a few hand stitches. This helps keep them from coming undone, especially on stretch fabric, they're more likely to peel open along the out seam. If you want, you can distress the hem at this point, I just want to leave it raw. And that's how you turn jeans into jean shorts. First, I gather my supplies. I'll need a needle, thread, the garment, some fabric for patching, pins, scissors, and if you'd like to, you can use an embroidery hoop. I start by trimming the threads around the damaged area as needed. I wanna make it clean so I can see what work I'm doing, but I also don't wanna cut out all of the character, so I leave a lot. Then I cut my patch into the size and shape that I need it to be. I pin my patch into place. You can use safety pins here to avoid poking yourself, but I just work with regular straight pins. Then I cut a long length of thread and thread both ends through the needle, leaving a long loop on one side. I start from the back, I stitch up through the fabric, but I don't pull all the way through. I stitch back down and catch the loop on the back side with my needle. I pull gently to tighten, and this is how I set my stitch. Here I'm careful to hold the fabric flat. In this instance, I put my hand inside of the sleeve to hold the work area flat. An embroidery hoop could help with this if you want. I stitch back down through the fabric. I want to keep the stitches on the front area very small and then slightly larger on the back. So I wind my way around clockwise creating tiny stitches on the front and larger ones on the back. I wind my way around twice to enforce the stitching and I finish in the same spot where I started. I pull the needle to the back and I tie off my stitch. Once I finish the stitch, I turn my garment inside out and I trim the excess fabric of the patch away. And that's how you hand sew a patch onto a garment. All right, that works. I'm excited about that. 
So, yep, that's totally fixed. I can use that. I need, and these are exactly the length that I want. These are great. Once it's actually warm again, I will totally wear these. Oh, I'm happy with these. Wow. Thank you so much for joining me as I breathe some new life into these items that I already know and love. I hope that these DIY videos inspire you to do the same. Let's celebrate Earth Day by staying home and showing some love to the things that are already in our closets. Thank you for watching and happy Earth Day. Bye.